When getting people to work together to achieve a common objective, leaders have two opposite styles at their disposal, the integrative leadership style and the federative leadership style. Let's see how these styles play out in the case of Francesca and Paolo. Francesca is the CEO of a leading women's clothing retailer with hundreds of stores across Europe, while Paolo is the recently appointed e-commerce director. He and Francesca agree that online sales need to grow from zero to 25% of revenues within five years. Francesca, I've spoken to the heads of IT, finance, logistics and marketing, and they're all very conservative and uncooperative. I understand. They're all stuck in a pre-digital world. I feel threatened. Well, we need to move fast. We need a tightly knit team of like-minded people if we want to be successful. Therefore, I suggest letting go of our heads of marketing and logistics and recruiting two new people who are more in line with our vision. As for our heads of IT and finance, their experience is important. Mm -hmm. And I think I can bring them around to embrace the online strategy. Well, having a cohesive team is important. Do you see how Paolo suggests to build a cohesive team with a shared sense of identity and strong consensus on what needs to be done? But you can easily overdo a good thing. Francesca, I've spoken to the heads of IT, finance, logistics and marketing, and they're all very conservative and uncooperative. I understand. They're all stuck in a pre-digital world. I feel threatened. Why well, we need to move fast? Let's fire them all and get some digital natives not held back by old school thinking. I know exactly what needs to be done. All I need are believers who can buy into my vision and are willing to march accordingly. Believers? That sounds more like a sect. Taking an integrative leadership style can easily degenerate into building an overly tight clan that is internally intolerant of differences and is plagued by groupthink while it is externally seen as arrogant and self-involved. Yet, at the same time, there is an opposite approach to the integrative leadership style. Francesca, I've spoken to the heads of IT, finance, logistics and marketing, and they're all very conservative and uncooperative. I understand. They're all stuck in a pre-digital world. I feel threatened. While I need to get these experienced people on board to realize the crucial synergies between the online and offline activities. I'm going to try harder to convince them of our common objectives and see if I can build some bridges. We don't have to agree on everything and the discussions might actually be enriching for both sides. Hmm. Learning from each other is important. In this case, Paolo doesn't emphasize the importance of unity, but tapping into the diversity of experiences and expertise. By building a coalition across departments with a shared agenda, Paolo might be able to cross-fertilize ideas and achieve synergies. Yet this federative leadership style can also be overdone. Francesca, I've spoken to the heads of IT, finance, logistics and marketing, and they're all very conservative and uncooperative. I understand. They're all stuck in a pre-digital world. I feel threatened. While it would be nice to get these experienced people on board to realize some synergy between the online and offline activities. Oh well, I think we're just going to have to accept a lot of conflicts and ongoing negotiations to find some common ground. Some half-baked compromises might be the best results achievable. Ongoing conflict and half-baked compromises. Forgive my lack of enthusiasm. Here Paolo is too willing to accept everyone pursuing their own agendas and being uninterested in finding common ground. Instead of bridging the differences, he lets the differences spiral into conflict. Do you use both of these leadership styles effectively, switching between them when necessary? And do you stay out of the looming pitfalls? That would make you an agile leader. If you want to read up on these two styles, 
and would like to look at nine more pairs of styles? Then go to leadershipagility.com or download the Leadership Leap app for tablets. Or take a look at our book, Leadership Agility, Developing Your Repertoire of Leadership Styles.